Coroner's Report, January 13, 927 p.m. This case includes two subjects that are being put together because of their age, reported relationship, and the possible significance with regards to time of death. Both died of unknown causes and are estimated to have expired just before midnight on January 3rd. The following is the known sequence of events preceding their death. On New Year's Eve, both teenagers were in attendance at the girls' family holiday party. At around 11, they were seen sneaking off the premises. The girl wore only a dress and shawl, which explains the minor frostbite on her right heel. From the party, they walked through a foot of snow to their high school eight blocks away. They broke into the school and were found the next morning passed out against some lockers with a bottle of vodka, presumably stolen from the party. On the next day, January 2nd, they were pardoned for this crime by the town court and disciplinary action was given to the girl by her parents. She was immediately sent to the Willems boarding house where one day after her arrival, January 3rd, her roommate found her dead in her bed, cause of death unknown. The boy was assigned to community service, however, before his duties began on that same night of January 3rd, he was found two blocks away from his house in pajamas, leaning against a mailbox with pen and paper in hand. Though hypothermia appeared to be the direct cause of his death, it is my conclusion that the boy expired before life-threatening conditions took effect. The note the boy was writing said, I'm writing this letter the same night you left. Who knows when it will reach you, or if it will reach you. If they accept letters where you are, I don't know where you are, or if they'll let me see you. I still have all your notebooks, and if they do accept mail there, I'll send them, you can keep writing. I felt sick all day. My head and my stomach ache, and I don't know how to stop it. I think you feel the same way I do. Tomorrow will be the first day we haven't shared together in eight months. I don't want to have to remember you. But if I do, I want to remember this. I've been keeping track with intentions of boasting of our accomplishments to you at some later date. Together we read a total of 534 books. You completed one rough draft of a play and are almost done with the second. I have over 60 completed drawings. Up until yesterday, we spent 405 hours at the spot, a little over 16 days total. For only two of those hours, I was alone. Do you remember how we met? I've tried and cannot. For all I know, you've been here since my memories began. What memories they have been. Thank you.